And Rasha's been inside all day. And now I've come out, she's having a sit out, isn't it? It's Sandra's birthday coming up soon. I can, I, I'm going to wrap that up and say it's from here. I'll come out. Leave that for 24 hours and 48 hours. Just emptied my loo and flushed it out and I just flipping soaked myself in water. So I'm going to start this vlog off. Russia, Russia, Russia. What are you doing? A little bit different because it's the afternoon before so one of our guests said oh not been eating any of your white ice creams i bought some with me so i'm going to sit out i'm going to open this with one hand not very easy now these is one reason to shop at lidl's uh, mm. Oh. And just have a sit in the garden and have the first one ice cream for the nurseries for this year. How many packets will I go through? These are really, really, really nice. And Russia's been inside all day, and now I've come out. She's having to sit out. Are you having to sit out with us, Russia? Hmm? What are you doing? I've just done something that I have not done for probably a few years. So it's still Friday afternoon as I'm recording this. Brilliant afternoon. <clears throat> and um, it was about half four or five o'clock and able to finish work. And I thought, you know what? I have not had a pint on a Friday after work for... A long time. So I've just been in. So I didn't take a camera in and all the rest of it. I've just been in the Victoria down in uh, Hogthorpe, which is a lovely, proper, real pub. You can't take dogs in. It's got a big beer garden, I don't know if you can see there or not. Uh, and just had a really, really chilled out sit down pint of Murphy's. Yeah. I can't remember the last time I had a pint on a Friday Friday after work. Those of a certain age will remember Fridays after work and all your mates finishing work and all the rest of it and going to the pub and probably having one or two more than you should have done. I've got a story, I think Sandra knows about it, where one Friday after work, when I had my own business, I ended up in the pub. <laughs> it's a true story. Um, met up with a cousin. I hadn't eaten and I ended up having to have a, a pint. And I was forced to have another pint and then another pint. Then I was introduced to my cousin's friend. No, it wasn't, no, sorry. Yeah, sort of a cousin. Billy. Um, Who was living, I won't use the word rough, but he'd split up from his wife and all the rest of it. And by midnight, I had... Um, i become a landlord. I'd inherited a lodger. And Sandra met him. Sandra would tell you the story. And he stayed with me. I can't remember the guy's name. Now, he stayed with me for a while um, in the spare bedroom. This is back in Manchester. And the guy turned around and said, All I remember from Neil is he had, uh, was it, what was it? Tins of sardines, loads of beer in the fridge, and cheese. All he had, that's all he had in to eat. True story. I must remember to get Sandra to tell that story to back it up. Talking about food, I'm starving. Better get back. That's a very great start to the day. The weather's meant to be improving, it's a bit chilly. Last night was a bit weird. Oh, little rabbit, did you see that? <laughs> Do you see that? I don't know if you saw that or not. Um, as we were coming into dusk, there was like um, a mist, a very damp mist came right down on the side. It didn't fully enclose it, but um, it was a bit eerie. Anyway, 
that was last night um, and today's Saturday so next Saturday's the bank holiday Saturday Sandra's, Sandra's up in uh, coming up in a week and come on this way Rash that will be Sandra's probably as far as I can as far as I can work out it'll be Sandra's last visit while she's working because after that bank holiday weekend she's on the last couple of days so the next time she comes up she can come up any time um, any day she'll have um, she'll have left her Manchester life and started her Lincolnshire life and that's just uh, that's a week to go and as I said, there is a possibility that my daughter and Caden are coming up I think <coughs> it's quite exciting um, so today is say Saturday I'm not going to be doing much on the site as far as machines go I am probably going to take down these dividers here and I'm probably going to come and cut down here and a little bit on the seasonal area that I did yesterday wasn't it uh, and then scoop up all the um, grass cuttings because I want this to be immaculate the next weekend when all these pitches are done right let's finish Rush's little walk off and uh, let's get today started shall we you can't just stand there Russia 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 come on come on what is up with you this morning? Why you've got to move? You can't just stand there. Right, the cafe's not open. There is no sausages this morning yet. It's open later. Right, come on, come, come on. <laughs> the dog just froze. He's just stood outside the little chalkboard. Going, no, I'm staying here. I'm not going anywhere. All right, all right. We're in this ride now, aren't you? Mm, too bad. Filled these up yesterday. Uh, I was on this one for quite a bit. This one is a bit more thirstier. Oh no. no. That's not too bad. Always a bit of a giveaway. We've got birds overhead. Have we got any bird evidence? on the seats, which I haven't got at the moment. <laughs> so they just, um, Jet from, Jet and Dave, sorry, she just sent a message on Facebook. Uh, I just remember Dave when he come last year, um, his first few days here, he said, do you mind if I sort out the shed? I said, no, of course you can, Dave, just sort it out, mate, Get, crack on. So he basically, he moved everything and piled everything and, doesn't matter what I keep saying, don't I? It doesn't matter what you do. Um, but I'm missing something what Dave was looking for yesterday. So I won't go, what I'm missing? Because it'll, it'll probably be apprehended. Turn. I forgot something yesterday, Dave. Hello. What have you got there? Right, special treat for you, Neil, your Guinness. There. Oh, yeah. But oh, yeah. Prosecco for Sandra. Oh, oh, for, <laughs> not to be open until she retires. It's, it's, hang, on hang on a minute, hang on a minute, hang on a minute, hang on a minute. Sandra's birthday coming up soon. I'm going to wrap that up. and do that. I was out. I was out. No, it's in the treats for Oh, not for Sandra? No. <laughs> All right, yeah, right. <laughs> we're better now. Thank you ever so go. much. It's your last Thanks day as well, isn't it? Yeah, we're yeah, going yeah, in a bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. going for yeah. a breakfast now. Yeah, yeah. Remember you know what? It's, it's gonna, the sun's going to come out later. Yeah. But we will be back. Did you see the mist last night coming in? Yeah. Very weird. Wonderful like, that, yeah. It's like seeing seen that Michael Jackson's <laughs> thriller, wasn't it? Anyway, Thank you ever so much. That's lovely. I'll see you in the cafe. Okay. So, I'm bringing in the ropes. It's a bit early. Just at the moment, but in a couple of hours, we're going to get this down. And still, the weather forecast is apparently we're going for a, a very warm afternoon, and it doesn't feel that way. All right, let's get this done. Right, scoop up the cuttings from yesterday. Oh, here, I'll do the grass again. So no, very rare, there's nobody in the cottage this weekend. Here we go, quite nice. This bush here, I thought had pretty well died over winter, but it's coming back again. Um, uh, fingers crossed that's going to leaf up quite nicely. not wet today 
But I've only just done a bit of grass, so he's just taken out the grass shoot. Um, don't worry the cutter blades, not on. Um, but the cutter's down here. You can see. Get the damp grass on them, and they hate, they hate it, it's evil. So, giving it a prod, hood up. Uh, you'll see why I've got my hood up. Lift that up there. Right, right, so let's get a mouth on here. Here we go, you ready? There you go. If you've ever seen me with the other when I'm doing this, that's why. And now down there. Read it all and that's all clear now. So yeah. Oh, my, my, ca my camera's a bit uh, my camera's a bit grassy. So ironically enough, once the grass is compressed down there, to some extent the El Scavana ends up doing a bit of a um, a mulch cut. Right. As you remember earlier, what I'm gonna do now is gonna be scoopling. Up and down here, my below ropes in. Um, on this one, and then going to lower it down with the with the Stegen a bit. Let's say I don't want any uh, grass cuttings down here next weekend, or as few as few as possible. Um, oh, camera's having a bit of a wobbler. Right, all being well. Pretty well able to fly. I'm all pretty well ready to go. Giving this a bit of a scrape out what I've got some time as well, so I don't know if you can see a lot of this here. Um, and then you feel right, oh, golly, 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 golly. Um, so down as quick, it was all damp grass and everything, and it all yeah, it just gets everywhere, doesn't it? Um, so you can lift this one up, we're getting in the Plus Gavana to get in that deck, you have to take down, take off the whole deck. Um, so mower man Paul when he comes, he's done that a few times for us. Right, get rid of some of that and let's get her, let's get this baby out and then we'll also give we'll give this floor a sweep out as well, I think, when I get back. Right, let's go.
hours or 48 hours and um, fiddle off the cuttings and say get it all ready for next weekend. Now as there was some confusion to when Sandra was coming to see me, I am um, I haven't got anything for my dinner for the next couple of days. So I'm just gonna go back to my van and I think, I think I've got a couple of pot noodles in my cupboard. Or I might put some chicken in the oven. Let's go, let's go and see. And we'll say hello to uh, to Rasha as well. Oh, you're not on your back this morning, Rasha. How are you? Oh, you've got a big, that's a big stretch. Oh, you're getting to be an old girl. How are you? How are you? Got anything to say? You're wagging your tail. Hmm? Got a treat? What have we got? Oh, it's a daisy. Here you go. You like them, don't you? I've got, I've got some more treats. I've got some more treats I'll be giving to you today. Oh, you've woken up now, haven't you? It's a rush, a rush, a rush, a rush. Just emptied me a loo. Flushed it out and I was just flipping soap myself with water. I'm gonna have a Thai style sweet chili noodles for my dinner, but not for another half an hour or 40 minutes. And I put some trail cams out on the Travel Trolls pitch yesterday. Uh, so I'm just getting the files off them, which I might include in a bit, but I'll let you know. I need to have a look at uh, the footage. Right, back on the mower, right? So I have, well, as you can see. <laughs> Almost finished the, uh, this island because um, I'm out on the Steger. Just thought, thought it get it done while well, it's dry. So I'm gonna go and do in that corner there. And then I've just got some of the side bits to do. Put the kettle on and heat myself up a pot noodle. But what I'm doing is I'm cutting now. I can keep an eye on that barrier. I've just had a beer delivery from Amazon, but it came by a Royal Mail. I had to verify my age. And the postman said, yep, you look over 25. I said, oh. And as it happened, he was born the same year as me. Can't see that. John, careful, right. Full. And then keep that back to the office on here and try not to scold my legs. I've already got loads of water on me. What an amazing dinner right, it's going to be. Sit myself down for five minutes. The delights, the Thai, Thai style sweet chili noodly type things. Has anybody been watching a podcast? I don't know, forget who it was now. Um, of a van lifer who's absolutely taking the piss out of other van lifers who had just turned their whole channels into dramas. You know, um, I've stopped watching. Clip, clickbait titles as um, a number now that I just will not watch anymore because there's like all these dramas in the titles and there's a there's a YouTuber he's got quite a quite a piss taking sorry for swearing if you're children I, 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 sh, sh. Uh, taking the mickey out of some of these van lifers now who are just absolutely using clickbait left right and centre and what is the phase with the current state of affairs. I know thumbnails are important, but all these ones. Hang on. And, you, and you've got to open your mouth like a bit like a, a monkey. If, it, if, if I wasn't a respectable person, I would actually screen grab some of the thumbnails that are doing the rounds at the moment. Um, they are, they are seriously bad. I mean, really, really, really bad. And the open mouth one that people are doing at the minute is just, I don't know. Um, but I was going to do an entire vlog on, uh, clickbait. Um, and then also I was going to do an entire vlog. There's a whole, Wrath of people now who are visiting the worst town in Britain. We worst, we, we go to the worst place. We go to the, uh, dirtiest pub in the country. We visit the, the worst bed and breakfast in Blackpool. I've even seen somebody now just going, we visit the worst campsite. Somebody's going to get leathered. I, I, I promise you, 
I promise you, very soon, one of these vloggers that are going in and taking the piss out of people that are maybe not as fortunate as us, or most of us, somebody is going to get an absolute leathering. Um, you know, it all started off, wasn't it, that TV series about Jaywick, and you've all got these YouTubers, and now we're going, we visit Jaywick, and then they just take the piss out of the people that live there, and that's cruel, and it's not fair. And then there was, um, I think it was the Sun newspaper visited the caravan city, shall we call it, in Bristol, which is, it's been there for donkey's years, this. And now you've now got the rest of the YouTubers who were going on and just taking the mickey out of people that live in caravans. People's lives change and um, it's extremely disrespectful. Anyway, I was going to do an entire vlog about why you shouldn't do it, but... I'll just get myself into trouble. Hang on a minute. Shall I create a thumbnail? Ooh, ooh, ooh. Hang on, hang on. Sorry, I need to hold my head down. Sorry, thumbnail holding my head. Ooh. Hang on, do I need to have a thumbnail? Ah. Hang on, two two hands on the head thumbnail. Ah. I did do a thumbnail called Moaners, didn't I? <laughs> but tell me, if you're able to comment below... I've stopped watching a number of YouTube channels now. I don't watch them with um, clickbaity, pathetic um, things. And, oh, my God, we got the knock. Well, oh, flipping, I was going to swear then, flipping out, that is so five years ago. And, oh, we ended up on a dogging site. <laughs> Muppets. All right, Neil, zip it. Well, it took a while. But the blue sky did come. Right, this is all the gubbins before that I got off the bomb the Steger. So I'm just going to give that a quick sweep up now. And then this afternoon's arrivals are all in. So, um, again, not a late one. Doing something quite happy about. I'm going to nip to my van. I need to do a couple of things in my caravan. And then I'm going to pop over to the bungalow. I'm going to give myself a bath. I need a shave um, as well. So... Hey, right, let's go away first. The mad thing with this mower, remember several weeks ago we had all problems with, the, with it and all the rest of it and when I got the new starter motor, because this starter motor is knackered, there's magnets hanging off it. And since we got the new starter motor, it started first time, every time. Crazy. Right, next one away, and then we'll pull down the drawers and um... that'll be it here. No scream ups. No birds in the mower shed that I'm aware of. Well, let's get the door down. And, uh, oh, my phone's bleeping. Beautiful. Right, I'm going to finish this one here. Uh, and I am, after this, going to nip over to the bungalows, I say. Um, I need to go and get, I'm going to, I'm going to have a nice bath and a shave. Because I can. Because that's the way the mop flops. Take care. Mm -hmm.